Hi people, welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time, my name is Anwar Didire and I vlog about faith, weddings, motherhood and life matters. Um, today I'm doing like a very chill, fun, like kind of um, day because um, my wonderful madame here isn't going to allow me to set up to record and do a lot of stuff so i just felt like you know what let's do one from like a cool chill side there's no lights there's no nothing let's just have our phone on our hand and just record and uh this evening um i was just i wanted to actually i wanted to actually um share something that i I think that the Holy Spirit put on my heart the other day, but I think I will do that tomorrow or the day after. I'm not too sure. But if you're hearing cuckoo sounds or nice, nice sounds or beautiful, beautiful sounds, it's my wonderful Jamilogy here. Um, so something that I wanted to share today is about um I know it. <laughs> and you're wondering, I know what do you mean by you know it? You know, sometimes when we are like experts and stuff we feel like we know everything and we don't need anybody's advice we don't need we don't need god's help because we are pros at it and the ones that we're not pros at we call on god for that and this evening i was reading a devotional that i'm doing with a very good brother and friend of mine and there was something that came to my heart where and I'll, and I'll read the devotional. It says, after we've seen the vision, understood the purpose, begun to walk in our assignments and become dedicated, we must complete the work. This will require strength, not strength in ourselves, but strength from the giver of life, Jesus Christ. For when I'm weak, it makes me strong, which is 2 Corinthians 12, 10. It said, he is not expecting us to complete an assignment without his assistance. So meaning that when God gives you an assignment, and I know that this year, a lot of us had to learn a lot of new things because of a lot of uncertainty and a lot of new things that were going on in the world. But even when you were learning, we were right. using his wisdom, his assistance, his knowledge to even get those things done. And he said, he knows that we don't have the ability to do it alone. He wants the assignment to strengthen us in a way we never knew we could be strengthened. He wants us to lead on his own understanding. Now, we can see that in Proverbs 3, 5. Um regarding who what when where and how concerning the work he has given us he wants us to by bypass the um he wants us to bypass our self-imposed limitation by his strength so that we can see how big he really is so 2021 i don't know the projects i don't know the things that you and god are already talking about in your closet um and you're already kind of scared of how the projects will go or how everything will look like and i'm just here to encourage you that god has given you that assignment god has given you that vision he's right there he said his strength is made perfect in your weakness so whatever it is that you want to do please go ahead and do it nothing is impossible with our god so i don't care what people would have said about you or what limitations you would have placed upon those projects for 2020 and you're like sis you don't understand i know i haven't been able to even complete the 2020 ones yes and that's why it's the god that gives us a lot of chances when he gives you a project, you should just start and depend on him solely. Now, I know there are some things that we are experts at and we, we, we boast our chest and carry our chest and say that, oh, I'm an expert at this thing. But what God is saying today is that leave your expertise for one minute and depend solely on me. And I want to encourage you this evening that wherever you are, whatever part of the world you're going to watch this from and you believe and you think that, oh, 2020 was a lot. 2021, he'll give you even greater task. He says, oh, you remember the, the parable of the talent. And that's one thing I'm going to use to close my vlog today. The parable of the talent. Remember, one had five, one had three, one had one. The one that had five duplicated five. The one that had three duplicated three. The one that had one buried it. Now, who did the master give that one? The person that had five. Why? And, you know, I struggled when I was younger. I felt like the master was wicked. That he, would, he should have given the person that had three. And it was when I grew older, I understood the meaning of that parable. That he given the person that had five the one was because the person that had five had a lot, but was able to deliver in his assignment. So don't be that person that they're giving one talent and you're looking at the person that has five and jealousy creeps in. Let all that die in 2020. And I want to open your heart and open your mind and enter into 2021 with a heart of focusing on your own goals, on your own, on everything God has given unto you. So 
I want to go into this new year. I want to end this year with a clearer vision of what God has in stock for you and what, and what God has in plan for you. And I know and I'm very sure that the God that started with us, it will bring us to a great, great end in Jesus' name. So today is another amazing um video um for i believe on sunday yes so on sunday i was not able to drop a video and i and like i said yesterday i'm gonna drop the, uh, the video for sunday and i said it also today the reason why was because the um the where i had the video saved um i couldn't find it so i wasn't able to upload it so i'm going to upload that um tomorrow on god god willing um, i'm going to record it between today and tomorrow um and i'm going to i'm going to record it yeah i still haven't found um i couldn't find it yeah so yeah i don't know how to say it I'm going to upload the video tomorrow. So the one for Sunday, I'm going to upload. So for the 30th of uh, December, we're going to be having two videos. And um, by the 31st, we're just going to be thanking God for all he has done and for all he will do. So please sit down, relax, enjoy the new year. Remember that God's plan and purpose are of good and not of evil to give you a future and a hope to bring you to an expected end. So enjoy the rest of the days of 2020 and enjoy 2021 because God... He's amazing. He's going to do amazing things in your life. God bless you. Have a nice day.